girl was born in a world full of hopes and dreams, a place where trees still grew and hands interlocked like they were made for each other. A boy grew up in a world full of wonders, innovations of what one could call magic, what we all called magic when we were too young to understand. Instant communication, images, knowledge, all brought to life at the press of a button. And now we call it technology. And now that wonder is a distraction, a flaw. Imagination has no place among test bubbles and fake files and that 15th desk job. In the US, two out of five teens think their world will only grow worse. They say their children have no future. They see the world in a downward spiral with no one doing a single thing to stop it. In Kenya, 19 out of 20 teens think their world will only grow better. Why is it that the more we have, the more we expect to lose? Why is it that mental health is plummeting in the generation that has it all? I have a theory. Apathy, lack of interest, enthusiasm, or concern. According to the world, our generation just can't be bothered to care. We have no drive, no passion. We're just sitting around talking instead of acting to fix the things that matter most. Those phones have clouded our minds and made us complacent as the world falls apart around us. They tell us words aren't good enough to fix things. They tell us we have to focus on the next class, the next exam, the next college application because grades and diplomas are the only things that make a difference. We can't care about our friends, our health, our creativity. It's all worth nothing unless it can be quantified. We have to keep our heads down, get to work, and stop worrying about the things we can't control. They tell us working hard is the only thing that will fix this. But there's a pandemic, there's racism and poverty and violence and we can't fix it all like this. We can't keep hoping those issues will fix themselves. They tell us we don't care enough. We have our priorities all wrong, but they're the ones who've ignored Greta Thunberg and Bana Alabed and Hamosi Nalasula. When children are so terrified that they're begging the world to act, something is wrong. Thoughts and prayers from another too rich CEO aren't going to cut it. These issues demand real change. You see the people in charge respond like this and you wonder if they even care anymore. You wonder if they're the ones who are apathetic. Our generation cares more than anything we care, but we're stuck on the sidelines as the rich and powerful leave the world to rot. Can't go a day without finding another school shooting or racial lynching on your news feed not to mention the polar vortex or the brush fires or the countless species going extinct around the world. You keep reading, you keep scrolling, you have to know how bad it is, no matter how awful it makes you feel. Why can't you stop? Why can't you just stop and step away? Try to put down the news for a moment. Take a pause, be present, be here, inhale. Exhale. Listen to me. I'm not going to lie to you. It's bad. We don't live in a perfect world. Far from it. Things really are getting better. And we have to keep fighting. We cannot afford this sadness. And I mean that. We can't stop here. Climate change will end the world, even though COVID hasn't. We need to do something about these issues. And we need to do it now. I am tired of watching the world fall apart without a fight. We have to be done with empty words and kind regards. We've learned they're not enough. We need to stand up and we need to fight. Don't listen when they tell you to give up, when they tell you you're not good enough. You can't do it alone. None of us can, but we can do it together. We have a global platform and now more than ever, we need to use it. They tell us technology is a distraction, but it's a gift. That knowledge, that education, and that support, those are the tools we need to create real change. We have 
the power to make our voices heard. We can spread awareness, we can raise funds, we can petition for reform. And the tools we're using are working. COVID relief has saved countless lives and vaccines will save even more. This could have been another terrible pandemic where survival of the fittest went out, but we refused to let that happen. We stood up and we demanded change. The global experience that was 2020 lit a spark, a dream. It showed so many people around the world that things can change, that they are changing, and that every voice matters. There are so many issues in the world that need fixing, and it's too much for anyone to handle alone. But our strength is not in one extraordinary soul, one single solution. It's in collaboration. We have strength in numbers. Together, we can pick up the pieces and make something better of them. Together, we can create a world hope and dream. Together, we can save our future. Thank you.